friends. Well, it's just me tonight. It's a late night and Sayla is actually asleep. I wish I was asleep too, but there's a number of things that I've been really, really wanting to share with you. And I want to talk about investing in yourself. How many of you actually put time in on a regular basis to working on yourself? How much time do you dedicate to working on specific areas in your life? As adults, far too often, most of us, we get into this rut where we're, we're rushing through work and then rushing home from work to just sit on the couch, watch TV, surf the internet, be on Facebook or other social media, and we fail to really put time into actually working on improving ourselves. The more I have the opportunity to be around successful people, the more I see that these are not the habits of successful people. And by successful, I don't necessarily mean financial, even though financial can be one, but by successful, I mean people who excel in particular areas, people who are excelling is what makes them a success. And to be a success and to excel, I have noticed that it all comes down to one thing, and that is in investing in yourself. And to invest in yourself, I'm gonna provide you with five points on how we can invest in ourselves. And one is set goals. I've talked about it before in some other vlogs, but setting goals, knowing what direction you wanna go in, and go that direction and work on whatever that specific thing is. Two is educate yourself by learning from others. And you can do that from, from books, through talks, through YouTube. YouTube is a great source. And this is an area, educating yourself will actually help be the catalyst for helping prepare, pro propel your goal and the thing that you wanna work on by providing you with the meat, the things to help you get started. Three, direct learning through coaching, through mentorship, through seminars, workshops, anywhere where you can learn from a person specifically where you can ask them questions and, and they can really provide you with some meaty material that is specifically helpful to you in your context, in your person to help you to grow. This has been a really, really beneficial thing for me it has really helped accelerate a lot of the success that I've had in bodybuilding and even here recently in farming. When I went to the workshop last year and had the opportunity to spend about two weeks with Ray Tyler and Curtis Stone, that information and being able to talk with them and ask them questions has really, I feel, has accelerated the progress here on our farm. Fourth, apply what it is that you're learning. A lot of times we get on YouTube and we're constantly just learning all these things, learning our, all these things, but we're never actually doing anything with it. It's great to obtain knowledge, but knowledge that is not obtained and applied doesn't really mean anything. It's just there, but not really useful in any particular way if we're not using it. So when you learn and you're investing in yourself through learning, make sure you apply what it is that you're learning. Fifth, you applied everything, is actually share with others. Yes, I've learned through being a parent that I feel like I'm learning more from teaching my children than I feel like I'm actually teaching them. So I'm actually still learning through teaching and sharing knowledge with them. But you'll be amazed on how that cycle of just sharing and giving of information is truly beneficial to everyone. It's like the Bible verse says it's more blessed to give than to receive. And speaking of Ray, here is Ray Tyler from Rose Creek Farm at the Profitable Market Garden Workshop that I attended just a few months ago talking about these same points that I just mentioned. You know, it's really not a story of success. It's more of failing and recognize what we were failing and then asking for help because I don't want to wait 20 years. I'm young, I'm impatient, I don't want to wait 20 years to figure that out on my own. Like, I don't need to figure this out on my own. So I've surrounded myself with people who are a lot better than I am and have tried to learn everything that I can from them and take it and apply it in my context. And so, yeah, and, and 
we're, we're, we haven't done anything really amazing except we just recognize where we failed and in the areas that we needed help, we just got help. So that's all we've done is just got help. And not everybody needs the help that we needed, but we just did, you know? And, um, you know, we have five children now and, you know, we did some other things. And so we're just always looking at, you know, every year I plan on investing in myself in education, whether it be my mindset, you know, spiritually, um, in a business wise, you know, is it, you know, visiting other farmers who have different perspectives. Like I'm never like, now that I've done that, you know, I spent uh, almost a thousand dollars. Like that is like, I mean, that is nothing. I went and that from, never ends. Yeah. No I, matter I, what level you're at, right. that, that should never end. Right. And so for me going from, I spent a thousand dollars, I went from 30,000 to 120. We're already at 120 now. We and, and our, our fall is our biggest season of the whole year. So that's where we make the majority of our money. So the, the point is, is I'm, I'm never stopping. Like I, I, I feel like I've just started just started i feel like i there's more for me to learn than i'll i'll never never even come close to scratching how much me as a person can grow and learn and that's what's so exciting about this movement is that there's no end to it and then once you know and then the whole mentality of sharing i mean that's where life gets rich because it's not all about you it's about helping others you know and and in my area i'm able to help people in you know my, my local um, you know, farming friends, um, you know, we're, we're very transparent. We don't care who comes. We don't care if it's our guy who's trying to beat us. Come on, we got nothing to hide. You know, I want everybody to win, you know, whether it's on, on you guys, my local. And so I think that, you know, that has really helped us with our quality of life too, just that whole mindset. So our story is just really important. And, and I think if there's any one thing, you know, I just want you guys to learn here is understand where you need help and just get the help you need. Just get it. Like there's no shame in getting help. Um, uh, and um, well, obviously you guys are here, so I mean, you know, this, this is a testament. A lot of farmers are really stuck in their ways, and they just, even though they're miserable life, they just don't want to ask for help. And so, never, never be at a place where you're not, you know, always stay humble enough to ask for help. Um, so that's really, honestly, like some of my story is just get the help you need and share the love and help make everybody around you win. Make everybody around you a better person. Um, it, it, it all comes back. It all comes back. There's plenty for everybody. A lot of you guys may have similar markets. And there, there is a lot of, you know, um, you know in, 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 in my area, there's people who will not share how they grow a certain crop because they don't want anyone else to grow it. Share, just share it all. You'll take that share to the grave. Share it all. All these old farmers take that stuff to the grave. Yep, and, it does nobody any good. And it, it doesn't even help you. Well, that's it for this vlog. I hope each of you take some steps to actually invest in yourself and actually to grow and excel and be successful as a person in an area that you desire to be successful in, whether it be farming, whether it be health, whether it be business, whatever it is, try to invest in yourself. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.